Welcome back to the Clash of Coaches channel, y'all. As we continue on with our college football preview series, today we'll be previewing Florida State. Before we get into the video, we just want to say thank you to everyone who helped us get to our first milestone of 250 subscribers. Like we said in the previous video, we have a giveaway now that we have hit this mark. We'll be giving away a signed jersey by a Heisman winner. To enter the giveaway, you must be subscribed and drop a comment down below, giving us your favorite college football player of all time. The winner will be chosen at random. If you are new new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you again for your support. Um, but just to kind of kick it off and get into Florida State talk, Dad, who, who do you have uh, winning the ACC? Florida State or Clemson? I know we talked man, about Clemson already, but. Man, this goes back and forth, and I can see it going either way. Uh, I Just because of a familiarity, especially at the quarterback position, uh, I know Cade played a little bit at the end of the Clemson season, uh, but Jordan Travis, a returning starter, Plus, and, and as we talk about the rest of Florida State's uh, team, what they're bringing back, uh, you know, I, I have to give the edge just right now to Florida State. Um, so, yeah, when you talk about Jordan Travis, top running back Trey Benson, uh, and Lawrence, to, to, to Philly, to, I don't know how you say it. I don't know how to say his name. I don't want to mess up the guy's name, but their, their backup running back is coming back as well. Uh, and then at wide receiver, they are bringing back Johnny Wilson, uh, almost a, a, a 900 yard. Well, uh, built like Braun, huh? I said he built like Braun, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, six, seven, almost a 900 yard receiver. Uh, and then they picked up, uh, they they picked up uh, Keon Coleman, uh, from Michigan State in the one of the biggest, portal. one of the biggest portal pickups, I think, in, in the offseason, yeah, absolutely. So they lost some players. Uh, at wide receiver, uh, they lost Wilson, they lost Pittman, uh, but P Keon Coleman, Keon Coleman uh, is going to be uh, a nice addition, especially when you have him out there with Johnny Wilson. Uh, so that offense is going to be loaded, and they didn't lose much on defense. So you're talking about uh, one linebacker, one player in the secondary. Uh, basically, everybody else is back. Uh, so that Florida State team had a really bad October, uh, but finished the year on a on a major upswing. Uh, one, like, I don't even know how many in a row at the end of the season, uh, but looked ridiculous. So I have to give uh, the early edge to Florida State. Now, where I do give Clemson a little bit of a, a of an edge is Dabble Sweeney's been there, done that, right? We haven't seen uh, Mike Norvell uh, as, the, as a head coach with expectations. So he's been building Florida State back, bringing them back. Uh, they have not been prominent since really that, what, 2017 season? Uh, they have not had this much expectation on them in the beginning of a season since since the Jameis Winston days. Um, and Dabo's been there and done that. Uh, so I, I think the ACC is going to come down uh, to Florida State, Clemson. Uh, I would not be surprised if they don't play twice, right, ACC? Yes, still sir. Does. They do yes, the, sir. The, We're the, going to the, talk about that in a second. But. Yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if these two teams play twice. Obviously, the first game's in Clemson. Uh, the second game may be in that ACC championship. Uh, like I said earlier, I have to give it to Florida State, but this is almost a toss-up for me. What's your thoughts? Okay, so, well, I don't want to talk too much about Clemson. Obviously, everybody knows I'm a Clemson yeah. fan. Um, but, I mean, when you're talking about a, a rival in the ACC, obviously that's going to come up. And I mean, obviously a team who has championship-type expectations in Florida State for the first time in I don't know how many years. But I would say this is the first year – as a Clemson fan that I could realistically like circle it on the calendar and say, we got Florida state this week. Um, and I mean, it hasn't been like that for almost, you know, eight years, nine years. You got something to say? So quick, quick, quick question as a, a and I will say this as an Ohio state fan. Um, I know there are some Ohio state fans that want Michigan to be Oh, and 12. I want them to be good. I want the yeah. game to matter. How do you feel? Do you want Florida state to be good as a Clemson fan? I feel like it's a push and pull. Like when they were really good with Jameis, I wanted them to suck. But then like okay. once we played them and we started beating up on them like six years in a row, it like lost the the the, the juice it. of the game. Yeah, like yeah. it wasn't like like last last year's game in Tallahassee was a good game. I know you went to that game. Yep. Um, but knowing that this year is like, like I said, we're circling the calendar. You got to line up and play football like that makes me hype. And I'm not even on the damn team, but it feels like I'm about to play. Um, yeah, like, this may be the first time in a long time where we're talking it's about very meaningful. probably a split, right? A, a, yeah. a, you know, 50-50 Clemson may get the edge, but it'll be much closer uh, yes. in terms of odds than it's been in a long time. And I think I would say this, like, obviously I'm a Clemson fan. I have big, big, uh, like a big trajectory, I would say, for Kate Klubnik. But I can't deny the fact that Jordan Travis is him and Drake May are the two top dogs in the ACC. Um, I still think Jordan Travis with his age, 
Um, I would favor him over Drake May, and I think Florida State is just a better team than North Carolina. He had 3,200 passing yards, 24 touchdowns, and five picks last year, 400 yards rushing and seven touchdowns. To me, he was the entire offense for them. Um, it kind of reminded me a little bit of Sam Hartman at Wake Forest. Um, and when I say that, I mean just the magical plays he was making for that team. Um, they they weren't a very experienced team. They brought a lot of guys back. I know you said Trey Benson. He was 10 yards shy of 1,000 yards, nine touchdowns. Yeah. Johnny Wilson, you already named his stats. They also have Winston Wright. He transferred over from West uh, West Virginia in 2021, but he was hurt all last year. But he was respectable at West Virginia. You said Keon Coleman, 800 yards, seven touchdowns. They brought in tight end Jaheim Bell out of South Carolina. He was a now, solid. Jaheim Bell played wide receiver at, at South Carolina, though. Didn't yeah, he? but he's going to play tight end for uh, for Florida State now, I believe. I mean, you got okay. Johnny Wilson playing receiver, so who knows who, where they have yeah. him lined up. Um, but I, I truly think. Florida State is going to have probably – I know I said this in the Clemson video that we might have the best front seven in college football, arguably. Uh, Florida State has that same argument. I think yeah. their front seven um, is going to be amazing. Their defensive line is going to be amazing. So I, I think it's going to help Jordan Travis a lot. Um, they're going to get way better field position this year. Uh, Jordan Travis is not going to have to make a bunch of plays with his legs, I don't think. Now, can he do it? Yes, he's a very athletic quarterback, mobile quarterback. But I think just with bringing in – everybody again from the defensive side of the ball is just going to further help him help the team. Um, they, they obviously lost a close game to Clemson. Um, so just having that experience is going to help out. Um, and I, I definitely expect, I'm very happy that the ACC got rid of the Atlantic and the coastal divisions. And now it's just going to be the two best teams to me. That's amazing. The reason why it's kind of like, in a sense, the same thing as the big 10, you have Michigan and Ohio state in one division and then Penn state, in the ACC, you had Clemson and Florida State, but they've been the two juggernauts of the ACC the last, you know, 12 seasons. So it was really whoever won that game was going to win the ACC other than the pit year uh, two years ago. Um, but I think now you're really going to see Clemson and Florida State pretty much play twice a year, barring anything crazy. Now, and now I, the only concern with that is, does that water down their first meeting? Right? Like I think, and I, I'm assuming the Big Ten is going to go to this as well. Uh, at some point in time, especially as we had uh, USC and UCLA. I think that may water down the game when you know that – I'm not going to say that game doesn't matter, but, okay, cool, they're going to play again. When you play a team one time and that's it and that's for who's going to go to the championship, I think that means that, that makes that game matter so much more. No, definitely. I mean, I agree. But I also think, like, for, to the Big Ten's point and now ACC – when you have, like, for example, in the Big Ten, you had teams that were like six and four still having a chance to go to the Big Ten championship. Like, to me, that, that's stupid, and it shouldn't work that way. Now, I get the idea that the one game matters, but I think having better football being played in the games that matter the most at the end of the day is what each commissioner of each conference or I don't even – what are they called? They called commissioners, or what are they called? Yeah, they're Commis the commissioners. The commissioners of each conference. That's what you want because you're going to get yeah. more views. You're going to get more publicity, more media attention. So, and again, at the end of the day, those commissioners, they want an appearance to the playoffs. They want a, 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 a team to be able to make the playoffs. And when you have a team who's 6-4 and four in the conference championship, I get the committee likes to bolster up conference titles. But if you're 8-3 and three and you win your conference championship, you're not getting in the playoffs. No, so, okay. at the end of the day, if let's say Florida State does happen to beat Clemson, I think – even if Clemson were to redeem themselves in the title game, they could go. And either way, vice versa. I think that's what makes it so good. And I think eventually, um, I don't know if this is 100% true, this is what I would do. I think eventually every conference should go do away with divisions. I think it should just be the top two teams. And they should have like a rotating schedule. Um, but my kind of, I don't even know if this is a hot take. I don't think it is. Obviously, Caleb Williams is the favorite for the, the Heisman. I would not be surprised if Jordan Travis won the Heisman. Um, and, mm. and that's more so because I, I expect Florida State to be competing for national championships um, and I, I mean, obviously they play Clemson who's also doing the same thing. So it's going to come down to those games, but just to kind of, we can pull up their schedule. They're going to have two really tough tests early. Obviously you're playing, um, LSU, then you're playing Clemson. I think if yeah. you win both those games, you're undefeated. Um, in my eyes, the Florida game is obviously a rival game, um, in the swamp. So that's going to be a tough game, obviously, but they're, I think they're going to be down this year. Yeah. Um, but, but regardless, it is a rivalry game. Anything can happen, but I think those two games, we're going to learn a lot about them. Obviously, Florida State lost a, a, a very close game to LSU, I think, on a game-winning field goal um, in the, the opening the opening weekend last season. Um, I would probably favor Florida State over LSU this year. Now, again, we'll get to LSU in a, in a couple of days with their video. Um, but I, I think if Jordan Travis uh, kind of balls out against LSU and Clemson, 
he's going to have a, a run of games, a string of games where he can really put up some crazy numbers against teams that are, are not as good as Florida State. Um, so I would say he will be in New York as a Heisman finalist, barring injury. Um, I, I definitely expect him to be there. Yeah, I, I think the good part for Florida State is you start out the season with really probably the marquee game. I, I suspect that that game against LSU week one is going to be where game day is uh, and it's going to draw all the hype. That is going to be a heck of a game. Um, and that's really going to kind of propel the season. I think between the LSU and Clemson game, uh, Florida State needs to win one. Uh, and obviously the ACC championship. I think they can drop one of those, but they have to win one. Uh, and then they have to be convincing uh, in the other 10 games. Uh, and then I could see it. I don't see, I don't think Jordan uh, is going to win the Heisman, but I can see him getting a trip to New York. I don't think uh, he's going to win either, but I think he's okay. going to be in that conversation. Kind of yeah, like Hendon, Hendon Hooker last year. Like especially, he was in the conversation. Especially if he has good games against LSU and Clemson. Both of those games are, are prime, are going to be prime time. You can already see the LSU game is on Sunday at 7.30. Uh, so that's going to be the game everybody's watching that Sunday. That's before the NFL season starts. So I'm pretty sure it was on Sunday last year as well, and it's the first game of the year. Right. So I, I don't I don't think any other games are that week. I could be wrong. Actually, it might be the last game of the week. I think it's the about last. It. Yeah, I think I think it's the last game. I know it was like on Sunday last year because it was like the only game that year. And I'm sure that Clemson game is going to be at night, and I'm sure that's going to be a college game day game or a, a, a primetime game. So he's going to have two opportunities uh, to impress voters uh, with all eyes on him. Like I said, even if he loses, even if Florida State loses and he balls out, I could see it. Uh, but yeah, kind of looking at the schedule, I that's really what I have. I have them 11-2. and two. I have one of those two games. Like I said, wait, 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 I, wait. eleven and two. That's thirteen games. I mean, eleven and one. I'm sorry. Okay, eleven and one. Uh, I would honestly probably take LSU in the first game and have them beating Clemson. But I, I just think one of those two games, Florida State loses, uh, and then I think they go to the ACC championship. Like I said, I favor them a little bit over Clemson right now, but uh, I, I could see Florida State in in the playoffs, and I think the difference is going to be that Keon. Uh, Coleman pickup. I think the receiving core was a little bit down. They lost uh, three receivers, uh, but bringing back Johnny Wilson and then adding Keon Coleman, who's a true uh, number one receiver potential. Uh, that that and with that running with that running uh, back room that they have, I think they're going to be in the national championship picture. So I think they're going to be in the national championship picture as well. But I will say this: I wouldn't say that I think they're going to be in the playoffs. I could I could probably. I could see it happening, but I wouldn't predict that. I have them going 11 as one as well. I have them beating LSU. And I can, they're either going to be, I'll, I'll put it this way they're either going to be, they're going to lose a game to Clemson in the regular season, or they're going to lose to Clemson in the ACC title game. I have them splitting it. And I'm a Clemson fan. Like I said, for those of you guys who know, I don't think Clemson wins both games, but I think Clemson gets one of them. Now, okay. if let's say Clemson loses at home to them, Clemson may lose to Notre Dame. So then they may not even make it to the ACC title game. And then, you know, my prediction is kind of botched at that point. But I would say if whoever wins the first game, if they were to meet up again, I have the other team winning, winning the ACC Where's the title. ACC championship? It's in uh, the Panther Stadium in, okay. in uh, North Carolina. Um, so that that's what I that's what I would have. it. I think they're going to go one and one um, I think Florida State has a very good shot at winning the ACC. And if they do go 12-1 and one after the ACC championship game, I think they will be in the playoffs.